Michigan sophomore Trevor Kiltika and his five housemates didn't have to get rid of their outdoor couch. Someone did it for them. So I guess something we got in the mail the, uh, last week, it says there's a couch ban or something to get fined. And we didn't really do anything about it until we came back from Saturday. And after the game, our couch was just on the side of our house. None of us moved it. We don't know who did. And it's still a mystery to us. He would have had to remove it anyway. A new city ordinance in Ann Arbor makes it illegal to have couches and other upholstered furniture on porches. And some students worry it'll change the atmosphere of off-campus living. It kind of does make a difference. Like when it was warm out, I know it's winter right now, but when it was warm out, we sat on there. We always just hung on the porch, barbecued, just had a good time. And now I just have to put chairs up there or something. It's not as good. I had one couch that was right here, and then... One right here, so we could sit down, put our feet up, hang out, watch the people walking by. Brent Keeley and his housemates on Benjamin Street have already taken care of their outdoor couches. While he knows it won't really be the same, they're not putting up a fight. We did use our couches every, probably every weekend to just kind of hang out and relax on. Um, but I think we all understood why they were enforcing the rule and why we had to get rid of them. People who don't remove their illegal furniture from their porches will at first get a warning. And if they don't move it then, then they could get a ticket of up to $1,000. There are still questions about what's allowed. Do you know if your Bex chairs are illegal or what? We do not know. We should probably figure that out. We're probably criminals. <laughs> They could be. I, I, I don't I know. I feel like they're not. They're not a pol I mean, is that a polster? Does that count as a polster if there's no cushion inside? It's a still Fabric? question. Questionable is we what it know. is. It's questionable. The new law went into effect about a month ago, but city officials say citations will start being handed out today. From Ann Arbor, Michael Rosenfield, Channel 7 Action News. All right, as Michael just mentioned, again, the ban went into effect today officially. City officials see a couch. They're going to post a notice on the house stating when it must be removed. If it is not removed, the city is going to take it away and charge you for the cost of doing so. And the homeowner could be issued a civil infraction ticket that can cost up to $1,000. Diana?